Julie Osmolovska. She's a former Ukrainian diplomat and now the director of the Kiev office of Globsec, a global think tank committed to enhancing security, prosperity and sustainability in Europe and throughout the world. Yuli, thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World. Now, the most obvious question that I can think of right now is, how are you? Are you safe? Well, it definitely, uh, uh, God bless, uh, uh, I'm safe and uh, a lot of uh, people also. So we have been reported a lot of casualties over this missile attack. However, we expected it to be one of the largest uh, uh, within the whole year since the Russian invasion because uh, they've been collecting and piling these missiles to just uh, to, to show Ukrainians how to celebrate the new year and complete blackout. But from the reports that we heard so far, uh, so the um, uh, missile attack uh, uh, had been running through four hours and 44 minutes, so uh, people had to stay in the shelters. But out of 69 missiles, it had been reported by headquarters of armed forces that uh, 54 had been uh, shot down. So basically uh, around just uh, over just one Kiev, 16 missiles had been destroyed uh, 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 16 out of 16 had been destroyed. So this far, I think that psychologically, people were more prepared and therefore they really took this alarm uh, seriously and went to shelters. And our anti-air defense system is working properly. So uh, uh, in Kiev, uh, it is reported also that right now, around 40% of electricity or, or uh, Kievites are experiencing shortages with electricity, but it is going to be repaired. Right, Yuli. You know, it's not just Kiev which was uh, targeted. Uh, many other Ukrainian cities were also targeted by the Russians, including the western city of uh, Lviv. And this is what I wonder right now, uh, Yuli. We did, not about, we did not hear about attacks on Lviv for quite some time. There were reports, especially in the very beginning of the war, of Lviv being hit uh, by uh, the Russians. And now it has started to happen all over again. So does that possibly indicate that we are back to where it all started from? Well, uh, it doesn't indicate something specific uh, being Western region targeted by Russians now because uh, they're uh, sending their missiles all over the country and uh, every week we can see uh, that it's uh, like evenly allocated among uh, around the major cities. So probably this time it was uh, one of the unlucky missiles that hit some of the electricity power generation stations that uh, therefore uh, just deprived uh, uh, Lviv citizens from electricity at the moment. But uh, our emergency services are doing a brilliant job, uh, I have to say, and uh, we also could expect that in a couple of days the problem will be uh, solved or even faster. Indeed, and Yuli, you know, we are hearing reports of teenagers being taken to hospital. One can only imagine the kind of toll these missile strikes uh, must have taken on the children of Ukraine. You're a former Ukrainian diplomat. Tell me, what is your message to the international community? Well, our message to international community, don't be frightened to, uh, to stand against Russia and look at Ukrainian example. So we are ready to fight. We are not going to surrender. The president is exactly right. But we need your assistance uh, with the military equipment, actually, to help Ukraine to finish this war as soon as possible. Because the longer war goes, the higher costs, not just for Ukraine, but the whole international community. Just remember the food crisis. Just remember the energy crisis. All this world prices uh, for um, um, commodities also uh, are dependent on these wars. Therefore, our call is help Ukraine to win this war, help Ukraine with military equipment needed. Yuli Osmolovska, thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World. Really appreciate your taking out the time.